Hi, my name is Caroline Gonzalez, and today I'm going to talk about digestibility of amino acids in canola, cotton, and sunflower products fed to finishing pigs. This study was conducted in the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. For the presentation of this study, I will start with the introduction talking about some plant protein sources. Then I will mention the objective of this study. After that, I will mention the materials and methods that we use for this experiment, and then the results and the discussion, and finally the conclusions. Soybeans, cotton seeds, canola seeds, and sunflower seeds are the major oil seeds produced in the world. The oil seed products are used as important plant protein sources that contribute to supply the demand of protein sources. Soybean meal is the plant protein sources most widely used in swine and poultry diets because its amino acid composition and digestibility fed with cereal grains met the nutritional requirements of this species. However, there are other plant protein sources that are less expensive than soybean meal and these plant protein sources contribute to supply the increasing demand of protein sources in the world. Those plant protein sources are canola seeds, canola meal, cottonseed meal, sunflower seeds, sunflower meal, and sunflower meal the whole. Among sunflower products, the sunflower seeds are the full fat seeds. When the oil is extracted, we obtain the sunflower meal that is high in crude protein and low in oil content. When the hulls are removed from the sunflower seeds and the oil is extracted, we obtain the sunflower meal the whole that is high in crude protein, low in fiber content, and low in oil content. The full fat seeds are valuable ingredients in swine diets because they are high in energy content and also they are easy to handle in feed meals. For the inclusion of these ingredients in the swine diets, it's necessary to know the concentration and digestibility of amino acids, and we want to calculate the standardized ileal digestibility of amino acids in these ingredients, because those values are helpful for formulate mixed diets, because those values are additive. Therefore, the objective of this study was to determine the standardized ileal digestibility of amino acids in canola, cotton, and sunflower products and to compare these values to the SID of amino acids in soybean meal when fed to finishing pigs. For this experiment, we used eight finishing pigs. Those pigs were cannulated in the distal ileum and the initial body weight of those pigs were 106.6 plus minus 5.5 kilograms. The pigs were arranged in a Latin square A by A with eight diets, including the nitrogen-free diet and eight periods. Each period consists of six days, and the first four days were the adaptation period of the diets, and the sample ileals were collected in the day 5 and day 6. The pigs were fed once daily, three times maintenance energy requirement, and they had free access to water during the experiment. The plant protein sources that we use for this experiment, for sunflower products, we use sunflower seed, sunflower meal, and sunflower meal the whole. For cottonseed products, we use cottonseed meal. And for canola products, we use canola seeds and canola meal. These plant protein sources were compared with soybean meal. For this experiment, we use eight diets. One was the nitrogen-free diet to estimate amino acid basal endogenous losses. The other seven diets include each plant protein sources. Each plant protein source was included as a sole source of amino acids, and those diets were formulated to meet the crude protein requirements of the pigs. Therefore, the inclusion of canola seeds was 50% plus 
canola meal 45%, cottonseed meal 42%, sunflower seed 50%, sunflower meal 50%, sunflower meal de whole 45%, and soybean meal 34%. We include other ingredients to meet the energy and vitamin and mineral requirements. We also include chromic oxide as indigestible market at 0.4%. Also, we include soybean oil at 3%, except for canola seed and sunflower seed diet. Now let's move to the results and the discussion of this experiment. First, I'm going to talk about the ingredient composition and then I will show you the values of the digestibility in these ingredients. But first, let's take a moment to set up these slides. In the x-axis, we have the seven plant protein sources. This is the canola seed, canola meal, cottonseed meal, sunflower seed, sunflower meal, sunflower meal de whole, and soybean meal. In the y-axis, we have the values for gross energy in kilocalories per kilogram. And in this study, we observed that sunflower seed had the greatest values with 7,196 kilocalories per kilogram, followed by canola seed with 6,415 kilocalories per kilogram. The least values were observed in sunflower meal, sunflower meal de hull, and soybean meal. The reason for the high energy concentration in sunflower seed and canola seed was because they are high in acid hydrolyzed ether extract. Sunflower seed had 54.5% of acid hydrolyzed ether extract and canola seed had 41.2%. In terms of fiber, the sunflower meal, sunflower meal de hull, and canola meal had the greatest values, and the least values were observed in sunflower seed and soybean meal. In terms of crude protein, soybean meal had the greatest values with 49.8%, and sunflower seed had the least values with 22.1%. For lysine concentration, also soybean meal had the greatest values with 2.97% and sunflower seed had the least values with 0.79%. We calculate the lysine crude protein ratio and we observed that canola seed had 5.7, canola meal 4.8, cotton seed meal 4, sunflower seed 3.6, sunflower meal 3.4, sunflower meal de whole 3.3, and soybean meal 6. We compare these values with the literature values, and we observe that canola meal had a big difference compared with the literature values, and we believe that this is because the lysine concentration was affected by the Maillard reaction due to the heat damage during its process. For methionine concentration, we observed that sunflower meal de hull had the greatest values with 0.76%, and the least values were observed in canola seed and sunflower seed. For the tryptophan concentration, we observed that soybean meal had the greatest values with 0.65%, and sunflower seed had the least values with 0.25%. Also, in threonine concentration, soybean meal had the greatest concentration with 1.77%, and sunflower seed had the least values with 0.74%. In general, for the total indispensable amino acid in these ingredients, we observed that soybean meal had the greatest value with 21.62% and the least values were observed for canola seed and sunflower seed. Now let's move to the standardized ileal digestibility. I will mention the four limiting amino acids, lysine, methionine, tryptophan, and threonine, 
and then I will show you the mean of all indispensable amino acids. For the SID of lysine, we observed that soybean meal had the greatest values with 88.6%, and the least values were observed in canola seed and cotton seed meal. We calculate the digestible lysine grams per kilogram, and we observed that soybean meal had the greatest values with 26.3 grams per kilogram. And this slide shows very clearly why soybean meal is the plant protein source most used in swine and poultry diets. Because this soybean meal contains two to four times more digestible lysine than the other plant protein sources. For the SID of methionine, we observed that sunflower seed, sunflower meal, and soybean meal had the greatest values, and cotton seed meal had the least values with 66.3%. We also calculate the digestible methionine grams per kilogram, and we observed that canola meal, sunflower meal de whole, and soybean meal had more digestible methionine than canola seed, cotton seed meal, sunflower seed, and sunflower meal. And although canola meal and sunflower meal de whole had less digestibility in methionine than soybean meal, the high concentration of methionine in these two ingredients contribute to increase the digestible methionine grams per kilogram. For the SID of tryptophan, we didn't observe any difference among the ingredients. And for the SID of threonine, we observed that sunflower seed and soybean meal had the greatest values, and canola seed had the least values with 59.2%. For the mean of the SID of indispensable amino acids, we observed that sunflower seeds and sunflower meal and soybean meal had the greatest values and the least values were observed in canola seed and cotton seed meal. Between sunflower seed and soybean meal, we didn't observe any difference in the digestibility of amino acids except for lysine. And we believe that the high digestibility of sunflower seed was due to the low fiber content and also for the high oil content, because some studies have shown that the oil content has a positive effect in the digestibility of amino acids. In conclusions, soybean meal has the greater SID of amino acids than canola, cotton, and sunflower products, except for sunflower seed. And this study shows very clearly why soybean meal is the plant protein source most widely used in swine and poultry diets. Also, we conclude that the SID of most amino acids in canola seed were the least. And also, we conclude that among sunflower products, the SID of most amino acids were greater in sunflower seeds than sunflower meal and sunflower meal de whole. And also, the SID of most amino acids were greater in sunflower meal than sunflower meal de whole. And with this, I want to thank you for your attention, and also I invite you to visit other presentations in the Hans Stein Monogastric Nutrition Group in this website. Thank you again.